Hello. So anyway, you might have seen the um, tutorial on 900s that's just been uploaded. If you've seen that, this is kind of the next stage, I guess. Um, and it's called the Frosty. And basically, this will allow you to do 1080s uh, and higher. Basically, 1080s, 1260s, 1440s, and so on and so on. And um, the technique to this, well, the simplified version is you're going to let go of the full plant button, either X or A. Well, X if you're goofy, and A if you're in regular. Um, you're going to let go of that right before your foot hits the ground. And um, so that's the simplified version um, of the explanation. And when you do that, your foot is going to look like kind of breaks on the ground. You might know, you might notice when the skater puts his foot on the ground. It usually happens on the fourth ones and the ones after uh, the fourth foot plant and after it. The foot plant looks like it breaks on the ground. Does a kind of motion like that, and that's called a frosty. And basically, what it's going to do is allow you to get a foot plant after it. I guess you could say it's a glitch to where you can get potentially infinite foot plants if you could do it consistently enough. So. The, the simplified version, as I've said, is just let go of the foot plant button, either X or A, right before your foot hits the ground. Not If you let go of X or A when your foot's actually on the ground, it's too late. You've got to do it slightly before. And also, it's worth mentioning that... Oh, he almost got 14. You, it's worth mentioning that you should um, pop... We went over popping in the 900 tutorial. It's worth mentioning you should pop your frosties. So you'll know what popping is by now. You want to do that on every frosty. Um, and do that. This technique is going to let you get extra fruit plants and you want to pop the frosty and that's going to give you enough height to get the next one. Also, it's worth mentioning as well that if you do this on the last foot plant, it's going to help you weak earlier and it's going to make it easier to get the spin you're aiming for to count. So say if you're going for a 1260 and you frosted the last foot plant, it's going to be easier to make that 1260, it's going to be easier to tweak your board around in time. And um, Kind of run out of things to say already. It's been about two minutes. Uh, uh, also, I, I don't fucking know to be honest. I I'm, so also, you want to find the correct timing for the pop. If you pop too early or or too uh, straight down, it's going to make you pop backwards, and that will make it almost impossible to keep keep foot planting after that. You want to make sure the skate is moving forward at all times. Um, and that way you'll maintain momentum and you'll just be able to keep popping and keep popping. As soon as you start going backwards, you might as well just land the trick because it's going to be almost impossible to keep foot planting like that. And also try not to go side to side like you might see some people do. It's best to just keep moving in a straight line forward at all times. That's the best way, I think, to uh, get enough pop on each foot plant. If you start moving side to side, it might get a bit too complicated to know which direction to pop. And you might uh, find that you'll do a frosty and the foot just won't, you won't get enough height to do the next foot plant. Also, um, I think the last thing there is worth to mention is that flat ground, um, you'll find the timing is a lot different. So on different stair sets and different, like flat ground, well, the timing for the frosties will be much different, or the timing for foot plants in general will be much different than, say, on the canal stair set or the pavilion stair set. Um, so you're going to have to adjust your timing depending on where you're playing at.
and also I would practice your foot plants offline because offline there's going to be little lag. There might be the occasional lag. I, I don't really know what that is. It just happens offline on this game. But online, you'll find the connection does keep changing a lot, and it'll make it more difficult to learn. And also, I wouldn't practice up a ramp at all because that just makes the foot plants really difficult. It makes it hard to keep momentum. Say if you were trying at car skaters, for example, it makes it really hard to learn. And um, so I would recommend practicing on the canal stair set or flat ground, uh, pick either one, and that's where you want to uh, learn the frosties and learn the timing and just get it as consistent as you can. And remember that no one can do it every time. There's always going to be times when you when you just bail. Everyone's going to bail at times, so don't think that you're going to get it on lock. Um, because the fact is that the best foot planters can actually only hit the high spins once in like a thousand tries or something, which is crazy. But um, that's the fact. Um, uh, and also, don't think you're going to learn frosties in like an hour or something. They do take time. Just start with one at first and then learn how to do two in a row and eventually learn how to keep doing it and also don't be afraid to bail like um, just if you're afraid to bail you're going to find that you're just going to panic and rush something or land the trick and just like keep going until bail when practicing is what I'd say that way you get the most practice for the uh, frosty if you just keep doing it until you bail, so basically bail every time and see how far you can get. I think that's what I did when I was planning, just keep going. So, uh, I think I've mentioned everything there. If you like this video, then you can share it with friends, uh, other people who need help with Frosties. Share it around, and, uh, and also, uh, I wish you luck with all the spins you're going for. If you get, um, you get a spin such as a 1260 or a 1440 or even a 1080, just your personal best. We will upload it on Skate Spins if you submit the clip. Uh, and you can upload it to uh, the YouTube Unlisted or something and send it to either me or Frosty on uh, Skype if you know. I think Frosty Skype is in one of the <laughs> comment sections on a previous video. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'll put it in the description, that's it. I'll put his Skype in the description. You can send him a clip and we'll submit it here on Skate Spins. Um, and yeah, so I hope to see you on I hope to see your clips on Skate Spins.